Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, says despite the outcry over the increase in VAT from 7.5 to 12 percent in this year's budget, the government did what was needed to improve the country's financial standing and ultimately reduce debt. Minister Turnquest was the guest speaker at the Rotary Club of Old Fort Bay's meeting Wednesday night. He noted tough decisions had to be made in the interest of the country. He says government had to address some 360 million million dollars in liabilities and find funds to address the government payroll which had ballooned particularly in the months leading to the 2017 general election. The Minister of Finance says raising taxes will help the government accomplish what it needs to do and after several years results in a 10 million dollar surplus. We could stick our heads in the sand, put the number on the paper that we want and, and carry on smartly but again that is not fair to us uh, today, nor is it fair to the next generation, uh, because all we're doing is pushing down the road uh, these these uh, obligations, and so we decided and take to take the political risk and fix this problem, so that uh, by the time as we're finished uh, this term in government, that we will have affected real positive change uh, in the Bahamian economy, uh, in the fiscal uh, um, uh, circumstances of the country and put us on a path where we can actually start to make some positive decisions about our future. Minister Turnquist says the fact is the public is largely dependent on government, something that has been fostered over the years, but he says everything has a cost. The finance minister added that had the government not acted when it did, it would have had to borrow about $700 million, with a large percentage of that designated solely to covering interest. He says while some suggest allowing the economy to grow with the opening of Bahamar, that is uncertain. I've been doing this now five years, six years. The IMF has not been correct in their projection once. Not once. Uh, and, and not by a little bit. Right? <laughs> yeah. So when you look at uh, uh, the growth rates over time, you will quickly realize that the average growth rate is about 1%. Uh, and in the last five years, we've had negative growth. Uh, the, the best performing year was last year when it was 0.3% negative growth I think, last year. So while, yes, I can take the gamble and say the, the economy is going to grow, the truth of the matter is whatever uh, result is going to happen from that is going to be delayed. 